today's video I'm going to show you how to install Java 18. Set up the system environment variables. Create a command prompt that you can run from anywhere and use in future projects. Test a Java 18 installation. Create a Java application using CopyCon from the actual command prompt or using Notepad. Compile that application and run that application. Okay, let's get started. Open your internet browser and type in Oracle Java 18 Download. Click on the Java Download link. Scroll down to where you can see your operating system selection. Click on Windows and then click on the installer link to download the Java 18 installation. Once downloaded, click on the downloaded file. Click on Next to start the setup. Click on Next to install to the default directory. This will copy your files over. Then click on Close. The next step is to set up your environment variables. Search for Environment Variables. Click on the link to edit the system environment variables. Click on Environment Variables. Now there's two ways we can do this. We can set this up under system variables, meaning it'll set it up the same paths for all users. If you don't have admin rights, then you can set it up under user variables. For today's exercise, I'm going to set it up under user variables, but the process is the same for both. First, browse to where we installed Java 18. Under C drive, program files, Java, now this installation directory, go inside and then go inside the bin directory. At the top here, copy the path. Go back to the system properties, go back to the environment variables, then click on path. Then click on edit and then click on new. Paste this path in here, then click on OK. Now we're going to set up the path for Java Home. This time click on new. Now under the variable name, type in j java underscore home in capital letters. For the variable value, paste this path in. But this time, just delete the bin and the backslash. Just like this. Then click OK, then OK, and then OK again. Now we'll test the Java installation. Close down these windows. Go down to search, type in command, select command prompt app. From the command prompt, now just zoom in a little bit, type in java dash version and then hit the enter key. Now you should see java version 18 display here. Congratulations, you've installed java 18 set up the environment variables and confirm the installation works. Now close this command prompt down. Now we're going to create your own command prompt that you can use in future projects. Go to your C drive, Windows, System32 and then scroll down to where you've got CMD. This is the actual program for command prompt. Right click on this icon and then left click on create shortcut. It'll give you an error. It'll say that Windows can't create a shortcut here and one will be placed on the desktop instead. This is what we want it to do. Click on yes. On this shortcut, right click on the shortcut then go down to properties. In the start in section, delete this then click OK. Now wherever you double click on this icon, it'll run that command prompt within that directory. This you can use in future and copy anywhere to actually access the files in that directory that you copy it to. Next we're going to create a program called 
Hello World. I've a new folder on the desktop. Right click, click on New, Folder. Call this folder whatever you like. Then copy over this new command prompt shortcut that we've created into this folder. Go into this folder, double click on the shortcut. Now you'll see that this new shortcut that we've created for the command prompt will allow you to access the files from within wherever you copy it to. Now type in copy, con, give the file name, hello world, dot java. We're going to create a first java program on the actual console. Hit the enter key. Now this is where you actually type in the program. Enter the following into this section. Now for system.out.println, this is what's going to print to the console. You can type in whatever you like between these double quotes. At the end of this program, hit Control and then Z, and then hit the Enter key. You'll see it's copied the actual file to the command prompt. If we type in dir, you can see now that it has a new file that we've created. Now to run this file, we don't have to compile it. We can actually run it directly by typing in Java, hello world, dot Java, and then hit the Enter key. This has now run that actual program. But if you want to compile this for future use, you can type in Java, C, and then once again, hello world, dot Java. Now if you do directory, you'll see that now it's created the class file. Now we're going to create an actual same program, but by using the notepad. So open up a new notepad file, then paste in, once again, this new program. Now go to File, Save As. Now we'll call this a different name. We'll call this Hello World 2.java. Then click on Save. Then close this down. Now do directory again from the console prompt. Now you'll see we've got a new one called Hello World 2. We can run this the same way. Java hello world two dot Java. To run the compiled program that we created, hello world dot class, simply type in Java, then the actual file name, hello world, and then hit enter. Now you've set up Java 18, all the environment variables, and run your first program from the command prompt.